Right now, NASA is sort of on a two-pronged path in terms of human spaceflight. We have the International Space Station, which was finished being built um, just about a year and a half ago. And the shuttles were retired after that because the shuttle was absolutely critical to the construction of the space station. But it is not able to go up and actually stay on the space station for the six-month period that astronauts need a, a lifeboat, a spacecraft, to be there with them. Uh, for the long duration missions and that's why our astronauts are flying on Soyuz spacecraft right now. So one prong of NASA's uh, mission right now is to operate the space station, conduct research and science and along with that uh, there's a program called the Commercial Crew Program where, uh, NASA, uh, where NASA's hired U.S. companies to develop a spacecraft to take U.S. astronauts and our partners up to the space station remain there as their lifeboat for six months and then bring them back to Earth. So that program is, is in work and hopefully we're gonna see ourselves flying uh, astronauts up to the space station from Florida or somewhere nearby in the next uh, three or four years. Um, and then the other aspect of the human space flight program is uh, exploration of space. And right now there's uh, a program developing uh, a space capsule called the Orion and also a new rocket, the Space Launch System, or SLS. And that is going to be the program that NASA runs to go and explore out into our solar system, perhaps to asteroids uh, and beyond. And so both of those programs sort of highlight what the direction is that NASA is going in terms of low Earth orbit and exploration. And I think for most people, the biggest thing that you can do is, and especially for educators, is to help get the word out. Um, there's a lot of confusion about what NASA is accomplishing right now, especially because both of these programs are in the process of development and we're not actually flying the spacecraft yet. Um, we've seen lulls in, in flight like this before between Apollo and, and the space shuttle program where there were just a few flights. And uh, I think it's very important to educate the public that there's some really exciting new opportunities coming for NASA and uh, for human spaceflight.